Hey there, everybody. Welcome to February. I've had so much fun with my January series of the 31 paintings for the new year. But oh my goodness, it's February. And February, of course, is well known for being the month of Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day is typically the holiday for the people that are dating, for the people that are married, you know, it's all lovey-dovey. And I am doing a series for Valentine's Day celebrating love, but not just romantic love, several different kinds of love. Now I am kicking it off with a classic romantic Valentine's themed uh, diptych you know, like the two people in a relationship. Uh, but there are more videos coming soon showing and celebrating different kinds of love. Um, so for this pour, we've got two 10 by 20 inch canvases and I have them staggered here because that is how I am envisioning that they would hang on the wall um, at, at a slight, you know, one than, than the other. Um, so I've got a white base, I've got, um, my colors are all mixed with Floetrol and water. So it's about one part paint to two or three parts of Floetrol and then thinned with water until it's, until it's quite thin. Now, when you're doing a Dutch pour with Floetrol, the paint never quite feels watery because the Floetrol gives it more body while also letting it flow really nicely. Um, so this does not feel as watery as a paint and water Dutch pour, but um, I really like that the Floetrol stretches your dollar. It helps your paint go farther and saves you a lot of money. So I've got uh, light portrait pink. I've got this Elizarin crimson, Elizarin, I don't know. I don't know exactly how you say it. I'll put it in the description. I have Payne's gray metallic silver and metallic gold and I have a little bit of Amsterdam titanium white just with water I'm gonna add it in the middle just a little bit to see if it can help give me some lacing because this works as as an inexpensive cell activator in certain other pours that I've done and I have never tried it in a Dutch pour so I'm gonna try that today okay let's put the base coat on the canvases. Okay, the base coat is down. I've gone ahead and torched it to get rid of a lot of the air bubbles that were in that paint. And now it's time to start putting on my colors. So I'm gonna start with this beautiful peachy pink. It's called, I think, light portrait pink. Whoa. And this is one of the ones that I want to be prominent. And then I'll go with this crimson, Elizarin crimson, I don't know. So it's, it looks kind of purplish while it's wet, but it, um, when it's dry, it's this beautiful dark maroon red color. Um, okay, I think just a little bit of Payne's Gray, because I want some contrast. 
but not lots. And then uh, gold and silver. And I thought about having one side be gold and one side be silver. But I, th I think I'm going to put both of them on both. Unfortunately, I think I may have put too much water in my um, my light pink because it's swallowing up some of the other colors. That's unfortunate. Hopefully when I blow it out, the colors will pop back up. So we will see about that. But I'm going to add a little bit more of this um, uh, what is this color? Payne's Gray. Because it looks like it's getting swallowed. And I don't want to lose all of it. I'm also going to add a little bit more of the crimson. Because I don't want that to disappear either. Okay, and then finally, I'm going to add just a little bit of this um, Amsterdam paint with water. It's... It's not really coming out in a stream, so it's going to be just kind of some spots throughout, just to try to add a little bit more lacing and cellul cellular reaction in these paints. Okay, so there's the colors. Now I'm going to add a little bit more flow paint on either side to make sure that they can move across the canvas. Okay, so I have this lovely soft effect. It's very dreamy. I am getting some beautiful lacing from that Amsterdam paint. I can see it right there. That's amazing. Okay, so I went up, down, up, down, and now I'm gonna use my mouth to kind of fill in some of these pockets. So I'm trying to blow out this design and I'm realizing I have just a ton of paint here. More base coat than I need. So I'm just going to sponge some of it up. Because if you have too much base coat, your colors, you'll blow them out and they'll just blow right back. So... Let me try to get some of that away. You need enough that it'll flow, but not so much that it won't stay there. So let's try that again. Okay. 
I'm going to add a little bit more of the crimson because that's the color that I feel like I'm missing. And I'm just going to and maybe some gold. Yeah. A little bit of the Payne's gray. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that one. That took some, some effort to get it good. Now I gotta go back here and see if there's anything that I need to tweak. Okay, I'm liking the look of this a lot. <clears throat> I want to torch a bit, see if I can bring up some cells. Unfortunately, I think I'm going to bring up a lot of the little white dots from the base coat, because there were a lot of bubbles in the base coat. But I do want to see if I can bring up some cells in the colors, so let's torch. All right, I think I'm finished with this, and I'm really happy with it. Yeah, okay, let me take you in for a close-up. All right, so here we go. So we have these beautiful wispy, wispy tendrils coming out, and some nice cell action. A little bit of lacing there in the middle, and then over here, this one's the prettier side. We got that beautiful lacing. I think that was from the Amsterdam paint, but I'm not sure. That nice pop of crimson. And then we got some good contrasting colors there. And a beautiful, delicate flow down. All right. So I really like the way this looks. I will, I might do a few touch-ups once it's dry, just with a brush, and I will show you the, the dried result. All right, so here we go. It is dry. I really like the way it looks staggered like that. Um, and as we get closer, you can see how those metallic colors really pop now that the paint is dry. I love that gold. Can't really see the silver much. Maybe it blended in with, oh, there's some silver. I think it kind of blended in with the Payne's gray though. So it's very delicate, kind of crazy. It's got some pretty details and the colors are just beautiful. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you come back and check out all the other videos in this Valentine's Day series. I will see you for the next one. Bye.